Hi, I'm Dr. Laura Conover, and I'm here to tell you about grounding indoors and how it can be very, very inexpensive. Are you feeling overwhelmed by expensive grounding tools, but you want to be grounded indoors? Maybe because like me right now, it's hot as heck outside and you just want to be in air conditioned comfort, or maybe it's because in the winter, it's really cold and you want to be inside and warm. Or maybe, and this is the thing that bothers me about grounding tools, is that the people who need it the most, who have mobility issues or are recovering from something or are really, really sick, um, oftentimes, in, obviously, have the most medical expenses, and the last thing they need to feel like they need to do is buy an expensive indoor grounding tool. Yet, being outside and just doing the free version, the barefoot version, is really inaccessible when you don't feel good, and those are the people who need grounding the most. So, what you can do to circumvent buying expensive indoor grounding tools is simply to get a ground stake. I carry a 12 inch stainless steel ground stake and with it comes a standard ground cord or my pure ground ground cord either one um, and the reason i do recommend going ahead and getting a ground stake with a ground cord uh, from my website instead of making your own is that there's a safety mechanism built into the ground cord so that there's no risk of a surge for example, when there's a you know lightning outside, you don't want an electrical surge from a lightning strike to travel up the cord. And since it's all about conductivity, it will if you don't have if you just went out and put you know a, a copper rod and then um, a, a, a straight metal wire, you'll be grounded, but you will not be grounded and protected. So here's a way to just have one item ground you. And it's all you need to buy. You don't really need to buy anything that it's attached to because I'm gonna show you that this will ground you just through the alligator clip that's on the end of this cord. So if you put the ground stake in and run it into your home, or like I'm in a gazebo right now, but I'm completely ungrounded because I'm up off the floor and there is, I don't know if you can tell, but it's carpeted and I have my plastic uh, plastic flip-flops so I'm really ungrounded right now even though I'm outside um, in a nice fresh air gazebo but I'm completely disconnected from the earth so all I have to do is run to ground stake outside and touch this alligator clip and I'm completely grounded and I'm gonna show you a couple hacks that you can do to ground inside using common household items that you already have if you want to increase the surface area so that's plugged in so it can test that we're grounded and I'm going to just push this ground stake in. Just a few inches in the ground is all it needs. That's fine. This whole thing is now conducted. Conductive right here with the stainless steel. So this is grounded. I'm grounded right now just touching this. But then this cord gives you an extension. It gives you 20 great feet of a grounding line. And now this guy is grounded right to the earth. So I can run this anywhere. I can run it into a tent. I can run it into my RV. I can run it into my car. I can run it into my home. I can run it anywhere, like for example, into this gazebo. So let's go take this inside and I'm gonna show you how, just by touching this, I'm grounded. Okay, so here I am back inside and now I've got that ground stake in the earth outside and I'm touching this and it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge because I'm also gonna be holding my ground test meter and this is just an informal video so I'm just holding a cell phone in my other hand. So um, nothing fancy here, just showing you how easy it is and how inexpensive it is and how you don't really need to get anything more than a ground stake to be comfortably grounded indoors. So let's verify I'm not touching that uh, alligator clip at the moment, so I'm not grounded. I've got my flip-flops on and I'm on carpet, so I'm up off the earth and I'm ungrounded. When I'm grounded, the middle button that says okay is gonna illuminate green and you're gonna hear a tone saying, yep, you're grounded. Okay, so now I'm holding this alligator clip in my hand like this and I'm gonna push this button and see. I'm gonna try and show you guys. Am I grounded holding this alligator clip? Yes, okay. So this is just for me touching this clip here. If I let it go, it, I'm not grounded. Let's pick it back up. Now I'm grounded. Okay, so here's the exciting thing though. Okay, it fell on my leg and that's how easy that is. <laughs> Let's get it off my leg. That's how easy that is. I'm still depressing this, so you know it's, I'm not grounded because I'm not touching it. But even when it just hit my thigh, it grounded me. Okay, so now I'm gonna stop pushing this and I'm gonna show you all, this is so powerfully grounded just from that little grounding stake that I can clip this to anything conductive and I'll be grounded. And because I'm using my ground cord that has the safety feature built in, I can clip this to anything conductive and that becomes a safe grounding tool as well because the ground connection is nice and safe and pure through my cord, right? So think of everything you have in your home that is metallic. For example, I just grabbed a spoon. If I want to increase the, if I, this is simple enough, you can clip this to, okay, let's do this. I'm going to clip this to my strap here and let's see, am I grounded? 
that's all it took. So you really can just clip it to your clothing and you're good. As long as you're well moisturized, like I talked about in my last video, um, and you're nice and conductive, all you takes is one little touch of the tiniest bit of metal that's right on the earth outside or the tiniest bit of touch of you directly to the earth outside and you're grounded from head to toe. But we can increase that surface area because what if I want to sleep grounded all night long? I don't want to worry that this clip's going to come off. So I actually got a spoon and it's, I have no idea, probably cheap aluminum. Um, and let's just see, I want to show you, I'm going to put my phone down for a second and then I'm going to show you how just the spoon can increase the conductivity and surface area because now I can sit right on this spoon. I can tuck the spoon in my waistband. Um, I can put my foot on it and rest on it. It leads to a whole host of possibilities with anything that you have in your home that's metallic, increasing the surface area and using it over and over and over because obviously I can just wash this in the washing or in the dishwasher and use it a thousand million times. Okay, let me clip it on and then we'll test it out. I'm gonna pick up my tester and I'm holding the spoon. All right, so just by holding the spoon, I'm grounded and just holding onto the spoon, not touching that alligator clip at all. So now that I know this is powerfully grounded and I don't have to worry about just touching a tiny alligator clip, what can I do with this bigger spoon? I'm just gonna sit on it. I'm gonna sit on it, that makes it so easy so you can see. I'm just literally sitting on it. Let's just see if that makes me grounded. Yep. That's it. So you can literally just sit, you're at your office chair and you can just slip that on or you can just put it on the floor. Let's try that and let it fall and see if you can see it on the ground. Let's see if my meter can get in the way here. And I'm just gonna rest my foot on this spoon. Easy enough. What else? Now start thinking, what else do you have in your house that's inexpensive, completely cheap, and can ground you just as easily as clipping on an alligator clip? Do you have a sheet, uh, like a cookie sheet that's metal? That's not coated, not none of that nonstick coating. Shouldn't be using those anyway. Bad for you, toxic. But if you have just a strictly aluminum or a stainless steel cookie sheet, you're golden. You can literally put that sheet, rest your feet on it. Um, I don't know if it'd be comfortable to sleep on. Something more comfortable and disposable if you wanna not worry about having to wash something and use it over and over again. You can just buy a 99 cent roll of aluminum foil and you can get a nice big sheet out and you can clip your alligator clip to the end of it and you can lay on it and you can get a grounded massage. If you have a partner that can give you a massage, you can lay there therapeutically being grounded on this wonderful sheet of aluminum foil and get a massage or get a good night's sleep or read a book and it can be grounding you the whole time. So think in your mind of all of the inexpensive metal items that you have already in your home and how they can be transformed into powerfully healing grounding tools so that you can relax grounded, you can recover grounded, you can be grounded when you're sitting up, sitting in a chair, you can be grounded when you're standing up, you can be grounded when you're laying down in bed, all from one little ground cord, clipping it on the edge of anything you have that's conductive. So that's my tip for today is, and I, I highly recommend a ground stake and grinding directly to the earth if at all possible. And once you have that ground stake and that ground cord, sky's the limit with what you can do to be grounded very inexpensively indoors. So I hope you enjoyed that tip and share it with your friends and let me know what other uh, questions you have about grounding and I'll be sure to make a video to answer you. Thank you so much.